Crossford.friends, Earl of the Logbook.com, back on the Apple II. We're here to play Bellhop. Now, this is a, an interesting early entry in Gary Kitchen's video game career. Around 1982, when he was freelancing, this was about the time that he did uh, Donkey Kong for Coleco for the Atari 2600. And this was a collaboration with John Van Risen of Hero fame. Now, the, uh, the archive of Apple software online being what it is, yeah, sadly, the, the title screen has been covered up with a crack screen, which is probably obscuring the fact that, despite the fact that it's credited to imaginative systems software, this was published by Hayden Software. Uh, which was connected to a book publisher. So, you are the bellhop. And you are trying... Don't worry, this is not... Uh... Oh, this is not elevator action, but... The elevators are certainly not doing me any favors. You are trying to take all of these. Whoops! I'm trying to get all of these briefcases or whatever these are, whatever cargo this is. up to top level. There, there's a, a bit of a timer here in that your, your tip is descending. If your tip ever reaches zero, then, um, That's the end of the game. And presumably you can only leave these on a platform where there is not already one doesn't already exist. You have to be very... you have to time it very carefully. If you don't, then... Uh, well, obviously you can do what I've done a couple of times and fall through. Curiously, not to your death, but it does uh, cost you time. assume this is going to get tougher. I'm glad the bellhop is indestructible. That's helpful. If the elevator cars did squash you when they... Come on. Yeah, up we go. That would that would certainly add a... a, a oh, no. An element to the game of uh, 
of danger. <laughs> a new and exciting way to die, but hey, I keep plummeting down these elevator shafts without coming to permanent harm, so... It's, um... It's an interesting life, being a bellhop. tip is getting perilously low. Okay, I need this elevator to arrive promptly. monster from Pac-Man. What? What is the function of that? deeply worried about what this ghost thing is because uh, it's not like I have oh, no. not like I have the original docs in front of me feeling this may be the level where both my tip and my luck run out. I still don't know what the ghost is doing. It worries me. Its very presence worries me. Especially since I am now heading right for it. to uh, get me to my destination. I still have no idea what the ghost is doing. Perhaps he's been there all along and I've been so focused on the task at hand that I didn't even notice him. That would be funny. Okay, I just need to go up somewhere and drop this off. I don't know why I'm so worried every time I plummet through the... 
the elevator shafts like that, it's not as if any permanent damage is going to result. Perhaps he's there to call the elevator to his floor in such a way that makes it temporarily unreachable for the player. I don't know why the ghost is there. It's sort of like, you know, all of these bone-shattering falls to the floor. He's not affecting... his presence is not affecting the game in any way for me. is about to run down to zero. I have a feeling this is not going to help my chances of survival. So there you go, Bellhop by Gary Kitchen and John Van Risen. Very, uh, very early entry for the both of them. And kind of entertaining in its own sort of way. I still have no idea what the ghost does. <laughs> 